My happy place is definitely our garden. And I'm so happy that my husband here mm -hmm. built me an outdoor kitchen. He did it for me. Uh, <laughs> so that I could really enjoy my happy place. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. But guys, the real reason why we're here is that a few weeks ago, you know, my wife heard on an episode about those, uh, the prawns. So I heard. This is her story. Wait! Are we me. going to talk about the prawn episode? <laughs> Thank you to everyone that this is saw love language, that I'm, sorry. I'm a calm woman <laughs> and that my husband needed to apologize to me because just the next day but I was eating prawns and they had their shell on. Exactly like I was saying. So I accept your apology. I I'm glad that you brought it up. Guys, this is the apology to me. She's making me breakfast now. Anyways, one of William's favorite things, I asked him what was one of his favorite things that I do for him, and uh, he told me it's my breakfast. Yeah. Why do you love my breakfast so much? First of all, that poached egg is the business. And you know, we haven't done the poached egg for a while. No, oh, no we actually haven't. haven't even shot it. We've up. never shot a poached egg mm. on a live, and I know it's your favorite. So, so please, get it right. Let's People get are it. asking about that whole vinegar, sieving thing. So yeah, please. they don't believe me. Guys, there's an don't art. Don't embarrass us. There's an art to poached eggs. Yeah. So today we're going to be prepping a breakfast. We've got a very special visitor coming, but he's vegan. Mm -hmm. So we are going to enjoy the eggs and then we'll have to do something totally different for him. Yeah. But we're going to show you an example of an incredible breakfast spread. And our heroes for the day though are also the baked beans. Yeah. Not only those baked, just normal baked beans, but the bright baked beans. Are yeah. Right. Oh my God. They are amazing. Beautiful. And since we are outdoors, it's perfect. So darling, yeah. do you want to get started on I the... I will sort out the sausages. The sausages, and okay. then you start helping and me I'll cut. And I'll come back for those uh, tomatoes. All right. So I'm just going to move this away. And I want to give you guys a demonstration of how I make my eggs. Okay. So one of the most important things is you should have water boiling. So my water is starting to heat up. I'm going to add some vinegar. So I'm going to add a bit of vinegar into this, about a tablespoon of vinegar. This is really important um, for your poached egg to come out really nice and firm. Cool. You need some tomatoes cut? Yes, I need some tomato slices. You know how I love to... Thick ones, right? Yeah, thick ones so that they don't sort of disintegrate mm -hmm. when I'm cooking. Now, honey, you're good at, 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 at doing the egg, so okay. do you want to help me? Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, ready? Yes. So now you crack an egg into a sieve. Why? You don't want all those sprawly whites to come out in the, you know, with your poached eggs. Mm -hmm. It's so easy for that to happen. This is a great egg. It's quite fresh, you can see. Oh, yeah. When the eggs are not fresh, you, you, you find that it's very, very runny. Oh, there's a lot of the runoff. Huh? Yeah. So I'm going to ask you to hold here mm -hmm. and um, you. you open that for me. Okay. Oops. Oh. All right. Let me get started. So now another little trick is, is the water boiling? I think it's hot enough. You can see it started Let to it boil. Bubble, yeah. You start swirling it, okay? So you start swirling the water. This is really, really important. Great wrist action, by the way. It's all in the wrist. So as I was saying, keep on swirling. <laughs> So as the water is swirling now, you've got your sieved egg. If you want, you can put this egg into another place so that mm -hmm. you sieve all your eggs. But I like to make my poached eggs one by one. So I'm going to go in. Darling, while I'm do doing this, can uh, I have some oil? Okay, cool. Olive oil or just normal oil? Um, just some oil in my pot here. Okay. So once my egg is in with the swirling water, I'm going to cover it. So here? So this is going to stay on a very, very low heat for three minutes and then our poached egg will be ready. Is that enough? We yes, it's ready. That's okay. Yeah, your sausages are on? Yep. Okay. What else do we need to prep? I think this is it for now. It's just the tomatoes next. Yeah, so you can chop the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be- my sausages quickly. All right, I'm going to be caramelizing the onion. Yes, darling, how are you? Oh, people can see you, my darling. Does daddy want to lift you later? Go check what daddy is doing, okay? Yes, love? The big Makishis. No, they didn't wake me up. That was in the <laughs> afternoon. It wasn't in the morning. Why were they upset? They were not upset. I think they were upset because Daddy was shouting at them. Daddy was just being silly. He was teasing the Makishi. <laughs> Caleb is fascinated by Makishis. So right now, I've got some onions going. 
this is very very simple for me with the onions I just leave them on low heat I'm going to cover the pan and they're gonna caramelize so well are you gonna start with the tomatoes yep got this so now the other thing I wanted to ask if you're doing like a whole batch of uh, poached eggs, mm -hmm. how do you manage like that? Or do you have to do it one by one? I like to do them one by one. I don't know how you do it. You know, there's a time that you made yours and they had a lot of butter in them. Oh, I think so I, I think put you did it in a plastic. In a or something like yeah, that. you put it in a plastic. It was so yum because the butter infused. So that was really nice. Yes, Caleb. Mm -hmm. How many tomatoes do you have, Daddy? Um, about three tomatoes. Okay, cool. about three tomatoes because we have a vegan friend who's the radical farmer yeah. um, so I'm gonna quickly leave this so this is almost done it's almost three minutes I'm going to just show an example guys and then we're going to go into the garden the radical farmer has already started to get to work we can't wait to show you our herb garden that we've started with him today later on we're going to be planting some vegetables so we are really 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 excited we are working in the garden today. we are working so much okay tomatoes are done yeah when you're ready so the tomatoes are going to go in last mm -hmm. because i just like to char them a little bit on on some high heat mm -hmm. and then i throw in some um, soy sauce also so okay. i'm telling you my secrets now and i also throw in some southern grill some high ah, side yes, the all-in-one seasoning it's just perfect so usually how long does that take about three minutes do you want to see what's going on Oh, wow. Look at that egg. That's perfect. That is perfect. That's perfect. So, so depending on how you now, want it, you obviously leave it for a little bit longer. Yes. Whatever, so it? I know that you like your egg, your karani. Yes. So now, can I have a plate? Oh, those are looking good, love. Yeah. Let me quickly get a plate and show you guys how good this is going to look. Are you guys ready? This is absolute perfection. Look at that egg. Now, Mr. Wood loves, loves a runny egg. Yeah, that's perfect for me. So for me, this is not yet cooked. <laughs> Are you sure, darling, it's cooked enough for you? You know, the, anyway, you can put it in for a couple more minutes. Okay. I'll it's put it in for a couple enough. more minutes. It's quite windy this morning. Yeah, it is, hey? So I think I'm going to cover it up for just one more minute because to me, mm -hmm. like, it's not yet done. Okay, it's not yet cooked. It should be those, runny, those but are not gains too for the gym. Those runny. Are gains for the gym. No, darling. Protein. No. Straight, no. straight no. To, the, no. to the muscles. Actually, we don't have any baking paper here. We forgot the baking mm -hmm. paper. But one thing that you can do is once you take it out of the stove, mm -hmm. you put it onto baking paper so that the water that's left runs. Or I've seen oh. some people actually use like paper towels mm -hmm. and wipe away the water. But it's still okay like this because we're using a slotted spoon. True. Plus we're in the garden, it's a quick breakfast. It's a quick breakfast. No I fast, love no this. Fast. All right, I think we are done here. Yeah, that looks good. This looks perfect. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. I think William wants to just get this. I just want to tuck in. Tuck is. in. But he'll tuck in later. Look at that perfect poached egg. It is perfectly cooked. It's going to be lovely and runny. But for now, let's head into the garden and we're going to plate our breakfast later.
That's the, the bok choy, right? Yes, 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 the pak, pak choy. Pak choy. I think yeah. it's like the same thing. Mm, mm, Correct mm. us if we're wrong, guys. <laughs> no, we'll see once it grows in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> no, 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 okay. <laughs> Where are we planting so, these? So, you know, when, when planting organically, you have to be a little bit strategic. There's what we call companion planting, mm -hmm. where you plant uh, plants that are vulnerable to diseases mm -hmm. next to the ones that are actually stronger in terms of the immune system. Okay. So like you can see we're going to put the pacture in where there are herbs already, mm -hmm. which we planted for the purpose of repairing pests. So we're mm -hmm. planting them between like they are hedging. Okay. So it's called actually symbiosis where you mix the stronger ones with the weaker, with the weaker. ones okay. and they're supporting each other. Ah, yeah. okay. Perfect. So that is actually the way we've laid out the, the garden. If mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. That's how we're going to, even here, like we've got more than about, more than uh, 15 varieties of vegetables. Right mixed up mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the ones that are more uh, susceptible to diseases mm -hmm. and next to the ones that are not are less susceptible diseases mm -hmm. and as a result it'll be looking very beautiful but at the same time like there's that delicacy like when you plant this next to a herb right that aroma of the herb is actually like induced in the plant mm -hmm. it's like <laughs> oh my goodness this is all ex i'm just thinking the flavors yes oh, yes yeah. yes so it's like the root system they get intermingled all oh, right it's like a network there's a network system of roots at the base wow. whereby the pests are confused like uh, it, like uh, this picture is smelling like Sweet yeah. base, it's it smell like, like chocolate mint or like yeah. oregano, and you know, based on like herbs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that mix actually is, is quite very effective. Ah. I yes. love that. So, you know, the first time that I called you, I just thought I want a herb garden, mm. and <laughs> this guy, this radical farmer, keeps talking about how his vegetables taste better. And I remember mm. telling you to say, he claims that, so let's go and try, you know. But I guess my biggest question is why organic gardening? So why organic gardening? Um, so when you look at the word organic, it looks very soft scale, but maybe the simplest would be why natural farming? Because you are growing things the mm -hmm. natural way. So there are quite a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, if you can see the problems that are existing, there's the climate change, there's our food poisoning, mm -hmm. there's um, nutritional deficiency in the food that we eat and all those things. But right. organic farming is like a solution to all these problems. So mm -hmm. like when you look at the, the greatest cause of climate change, it's one of um, um, chemicals, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the issue of um, uh, carbon emission. Mm -hmm. So like, like you see, we've put mulch here. It is yeah. actually um, keeping carbon in its place. Mm -hmm. So there's oh, no really? carbon emission, yes. Mm -hmm. There is no use of chemicals, but instead we're using nature to control pests. Just, and the funny thing is that the only place you find pests is where man is growing. Mm -hmm. So like organic farming is like coping from nature Mm -hmm. growing like the way it is done in nature. No wonder we mix up things. Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. nature, we never find just one variety in one place. Mm -hmm. It is like a mixture of things. Mm -hmm. So then second is the issue of nutritional, um, uh, dense nutrients, whereby when you grow something, it contains all the needed nutrients. Mm -hmm. Like there are so many nutrients above the 16 that I mentioned, there have been 60, 74. Mm -hmm. So when you grow things organically, the food tastes very different because it mm -hmm. completes. It mm -hmm. is complete in terms of nutrients. Mm -hmm. Then on the other side, you're not contributing to the issue of um, um, poisoning the environment because there are microbes in the soil, mm -hmm. right. which actually get affected by the diseases. Mm -hmm. Then the cost is quite very low because many families are suffering from not having enough vegetables and all those things, but with organic, you can actually grow them quite very easily, accessible. And actually, I don't like the idea of um, eating vegetables that have been on the shelf for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. So you will have uh, vegetables within reach, fresh with mm -hmm. all the nutrients. You understand far much better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this is these are some of the reasons, but there are quite a number of them. So okay. should we go and see where we can plant from as you tell us more? Yeah, yeah. We, we and I would be very happy like this line, mm -hmm. um, since there are already herbs here, and right. actually these are different herbs. So we're just going in the middle between Yes, the... yes. That, that, I, I'm happy you've got it. So, uh, you know, when you oh, are wow. planting, so one, soft. one thing you don't have to do is you step on the bed, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. ah. And also, mulch also contributes in loosening the soil. True. And that actually, that helps your plants to be very, very healthy. Like you can mm -hmm. see the lettuce there. Yeah. It yeah. is growing quite very well, and you don't step on the beds. Right, yeah. right, right. So, what you do when you're planting, you loosen the soil a little bit mm -hmm. so that it is easier for the roots. Right. Then you bring your plant, you put mm. it here. Okay. Then you compact it so that there is no air lesion because once the ah. roots are exposed to air then the plant is going to dry off that right. is so yeah. cool i'm gonna put this here 
Mm. What is this? You said it's chocolate this mint. This is chocolate right? mint, yes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm so excited about it having grown because the last time that you came, uh. you just got a bunch of the herbs and then you made some tea with it. Oh, it was so yum. Yeah. It's so, oh my goodness, it's so different. So now, Abel, the other issue now here, because mm. there's a lot of people who are very conflicted about your usual organic mm -hmm. against your commercial and the yeah. other pesticides. When it comes to a commercial field, I know this is a smaller field yeah, for yeah. us, which is a herb guy. Uh -huh. Now, when you are going into a commercial field, maybe some of those want to do commercial uh -huh. farming on maybe whether it's a maze or whether uh -huh. it's like massive gardens of of um, is it rosemary and the like. How are we going to alleviate that kind of thing? Because even like this here, we bought some bales of hay. Yeah, yeah. What what do you do on a commercial scale, basically? So the principle is quite very simple. Mm -hmm. It's it's all about innovation. Like as organic farm seven, we're not just a farm; we are innovators. Right. Like right now, I've innovated a machine that you can use to administer mm -hmm. organic fertilizer on a on a very big portion. Like we are doing it on five hectares. Oh wow. Okay. Then if you need more cover crops, you mm -hmm. see we grew buckwheat, yes, which yes. actually grows very fast and suppresses the weeds, like mm -hmm. in terms of weed killers. And it looks so pretty, by <laughs> yeah, the does. way. My garden <laughs> just like this white flower and it's, oh, I love it. So I would say the thing that you can't do organic farming on large scale is, is just in the minds of the people but right. the reality of the things is when you are innovative mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's quite it's it very simple. Done, mm -hmm. it's, we've done it. It's right. very simple. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. So we get defeated in our minds and it ends there. We haven't even tried out and most of the people that talk about you can't do organic farming on light scale, those mm -hmm. who've never even done it Tried on a, a single yeah. bed. Right. You get a point. Right. Yeah. So right. It's, it's quite very possible. Yeah. yeah. I can see, with the, I mean, you're so passionate yeah. about it. So that even mm. leads us to the next question is like, when did this passion yes, hit Yes, like where did it come from? <laughs> because I mean, he talks about it. These are his babies here. They're all growing in front can of us. Can I jump so. this side as you answer yeah, that yeah. question? Yeah, so when, when did this happen? When but did you step start? on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer your garden. It's Abel's garden. <laughs> While you're talking, I'm going to be harvesting this one. Yeah. Okay, like, you know, my like my background, I'm a computer engineer. Mm -hmm. so, oh, wow, that's a total... <laughs> 360 shift. Yeah. Wow. So this this very love for uh, healthy food that is mm -hmm. actually that pushed me to start doing um, organic farming from the back end. So mm -hmm. I've got like five years experience of trying out and I've gathered quite a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I've had people like visit me from Brazil, from right. America, mm -hmm. and they've shared quite a lot of insights on how this can be done. Mm -hmm. But I've been struggling, I've been working very hard to bring it to an African setup and right. I've brought it to that level. And in the mm -hmm. space of two years, I've gotten like three awards as being the best organic farmer. Oh, congratulations, well done. Thank well done. you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Look at that! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> at Award-winning farmer. Yes, 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 yes. It's yes. so cool, William, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like, I mean, we have a real expert on mm. hand. Mm. We really have an expert on He's hand. dropping us those little gems, you know. Yay. Just <laughs> dropping them there for us. And guys, just how amazing the garden looks. It's just <laughs> so amazing. And I should tell you this. The one thing, the one vegetable that I have tasted that tasted really, really different for me uh -huh. was the Chinese cabbage we planted. Yeah. You know, it just, the flavor, I even thought I was pregnant because ah. of, no, no, <laughs> okay, yeah, last week I thought I was pregnant, honey. I didn't tell you, but even the maids were like, Madam Muli Buinu, because I was like, just cook that Chinese again, cook the Chinese. The taste, I, I get it, I, I've tasted the difference. So like, like you see, you can see on, on our log, you said test the real test. Yes. Because one mm. thing that I know quite very well is when food is grown organically, come what may. Yeah. The test is so unique, it's so, so different. True. Mm. And because that, even it's the same thing like with the village chicken, you can yeah. tell yes. that it's a proper yes, yes, village yes. chicken, that's Actually, organically grown. that's a grown. very good example. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and, and I think, yeah, you've said it well. The difference between villa chicken and normal chicken. Sorry, Mr. Chicken is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat meat. No, we we'll, we'll do, we'll do yeah. some organic chicken. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now you see he's talking my language. You know that I was vegetarian for like 18 years of my life. You know, I grew up in a, in a vegetarian home and then we sort of changed up. But that difference, William, mm, I'm tell. really, really, I can tell. And he ignored me when I was telling him about the, the chocolate mint. I've sure. never tasted it, you know that? You've never? No. So it's re there you it's go. mint, but it's different. For the first time it for is. everything. Eh? Yeah. I'm glad we could bring it you onto this experience <laughs> of <Man>. different <laughs> organic food. This man. We're now, talking too much. Can we go and plant, please? Okay, yeah. we are going to, but first I need to ask this question because I know people at home are wondering. Mm. So, <laughs> Caleb, can you come here and help planting now, baby? Come. 
Come help. Come, come. <laughs> it's not a live, it's a video cut. Come, come. and plant now. Let's we plant all together. have to plant together with Uncle Abel. <laughs> he doesn't, but he's not having any of it. <laughs> okay, anyway, so away from <laughs> Caleb, <laughs> do you actually have a consultancy service to do exactly what you've been doing for us? I know lots of people say, can mm. he come and do it for us with a payment? Yeah, we do. We do, we do consult, no matter how small it is. Mm -hmm. You know, consulting is the best thing that you can ever do. Like I, I consult and I pay no matter how much it is, as long as I know what I want to get. If you want an excellent thing. You said I didn't go to, to study agriculture, but you find professors come to consult for me because I do things like on a practical level. Mm -hmm. I consult mm -hmm. from the best people. Mm -hmm. So I get to avoid quite a lot of mistakes. You remember mm -hmm. last time when you went to buy the valves and people were, yes, yes, when yes. you don't know certain things, you yeah. buy and the people that mm -hmm. are selling will tell you to know you need this, you need this, True. even when you don't True. know them. True. But like from my side, like I've mastered the art of organic farming. <laughs> so now you know, you can always come to Abel. For this episode, Abel, is there anything else you'd like to share with the people? So like what I would want to say is, mm -hmm. I'll be very happy if every family can have even just one single bed where they can grow their own healthy, mm -hmm. organic um, uh, vegetables. And if you want maybe guidance, you can come even on our page, Radical Farmer. Mm -hmm. You just need to grow your own healthy, natural food and you're going to enjoy it for the rest of your life. Ah, oh, we love perfect. to hear this. Now, Abel, we're going to plant a bit more, but we've also cooked you a meal. So we are going to run away yes. and you and your team can continue planting. Caleb is ready to plant. Come, baby, let me show you. <laughs> Come and he shows you. Come, Uncle Abel, please show Caleb how to open up the bed and plant. Please give him the one he's going to plant. Oh, on, Here you go. <clears throat> Say thank you. Okay. Come, come, come. So what you do is you open up here, you know, because it is cold, this also acts as a blanket for the, for the, right. the ah, vegetables. So someone was asking me, how come your vegetables are doing so well in this cold? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a blanket. So you open up like this, then you close, then Look, you... Um, now squeeze. help him close it, help him close it, help him squeeze okay. it. Yeah, you can squeeze the soil. it from here. The soil. The soil. The, soil. the, the dirt there, huh? Mm -hmm. Around the plant. Uh -huh. Squeeze, push it. down. Good boy. Well done, well done. Yeah. Yes, Caleb. One more, Uncle Abel. We're going to leave you with Caleb and we're going to go get cooking. Okay. Honey? So, you okay. Plant so Caleb, I'll put this here for you. Yeah, you carry up. on planting, okay? See you later. Open up, okay. open up first. Just do a little bit of open like this, then you plant. Huh? Then open up the soil like this and then put it back. Then now push it smoothly, push the soil back. Uh -huh. Again, even that side. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. Then squeeze it. Uh -huh. So while you're doing this, you don't want the air to actually get to the roots. Yeah, very good.
Oh, these baked beans look and smell amazing. amazing. I love okay. that I don't have to do much with it. Darling, go ahead, plate. Okay. What are you plating? <laughs> I am going in with the sausages. Okay. Which is just for the two of us, obviously. Yes. Because we've got a vegan in the house. We've got a vegan in the house. I'm going to go with his plate. Okay. So we oh. roasted some of the buns on mm -hmm. the fire, which I love. You know, it's like really rustic. Exactly. And then we also got some um, spinach from the garden. We simply put in in some garlic mm -hmm. and so I just cooked it in a little oil fried the garlic and threw in the wilted spinach into there mm -hmm. and some soy sauce that's it it's very simple it honors the natural flavors also. yes the tomatoes are also going to come on so I'm going to start for him I'm starting with the base of the spinach Hello, hey you've joined in hi baby hi did you see uncle Abel Yes. You're going to go call him when we are ready? Okay. Good I boy. Just to you just joined to eat, but you also need to help. You can't just join to eat. So on our plates, the spinach is just going to go on the side. Huh? I know you're helping and that's why I love you. You're such a great little helper. Oh, those, oh, those look so good. Nice and wilted. So just put them on the side here. Right? On the side. So the tomato for us goes on to Onto the bread. Onto the bread. Yes, Caleb. How are you, Bobos? Mm. I know you love the spinach. Okay, so I'm going to get some some of the tomato for him also Just, yeah. on top. On top there. Mm -hmm. Nicely charred. Very nicely charred. charred. Nice no, I love them over you charred. There's like, like a nice taste. And with them also, them, eh? all we did is we threw them onto the grill with some um, soy sauce. So yes, I just exactly. soaked them in soy sauce for that saltiness. So it's like salty and sweet. Another thing I'm going to add for him also on top is, mm -hmm. oh, look at Caleb going on that spinach. You love the spinach? <laughs> oh, because you eat Chinese stuff. <laughs> wow. Trust Caleb too. <laughs> Just say something off the cuff there. <laughs> okay, so you're going with the onions. Yes, I've gone in with the onions. Is there anything else you'd like to yeah, add to this? Yeah, let me add some avo for him. Eh? Oh, yes. Please add some avo on the side. That's going to look so good. On the side? So just there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so we just done. move it a bit like that mm -hmm. in the plate. Oh, that looks so good already. For me, I'm even just going to throw mine on top here. I'm just going to garnish with some of this. But baby, you're throwing it on top and you still have your <laughs> thingy. You've forgotten I made you your I'm favorite, the try. eggs. It's all going to go in. Here you go. Please, thank you. Would you want your have on the side? Um, just please place it. You'll place it on top of my egg, maybe. Right. Or you can place it. I, I think it's working well. Mm. So place the avo, then I'll place the egg on top. Cool. Yes, love? Can you just spread it's it? It's for Uncle Abel. It's for Uncle Abel. Remember the He's radical farmer? Us. He's joining us. And today we're going to be planting with him. Are you excited about that? There you go. All right. So my egg is Wash more well hands. done. Wash my hands. <laughs> and then I've got some chilies. Mm -hmm. um, where are the chilies? These are the crushed chilies from Heinz. Honey, do you want yes. to just sprinkle a bit of that on top? Mm -hmm. So we are not sure if Abel likes chili, so we're going to so keep we'll his him, plate like really simple. Can I clean his plate? He's vegetarian. He's vegetarian, yes, honey. Almost the way you are. You you don't really like a lot of meat, do you? I like him. Mm. You like some, but not a lot, right? Where do you want your onions? My caramelized onions can just go on the side. Look, it's a full breakfast plate, so they can this go on like the a, side there. It's a full spread, eh? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of my breakfast. Okay, Caleb, please, can you go and call Uncle Abel? Go and find him and tell him, Uncle Abel, please come to eat breakfast. Breaky is ready. <laughs> yeah. Going to pour some juice? Yes, please. Yes, please. Some of that breakfast punch. Yeah, this looks so good. Hi, Abel. I'm all right. Hey, now. I you hope know, you're hungry. Ah, super hungry. After all <laughs> that planting that you did with us, it's best that we get in there and get some food going. Exactly, yeah. to fill up the stomach. Can we clean up? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, Abel, yes. tell us, when did you become vegan? Eight years ago. And why? Uh, <laughs> so you know, it's, it's um, I would say it's from a point where, by you do your own research and you see things from from the back 
from, mm -hmm. from behind. Mm -hmm. So because I know what really happens in, in the meat industry, mm -hmm. in the farming industry. You're scaring scary. us. <laughs> <laughs> I still want so, my sausages. And, and actually, like, like I stopped eating eggs before, but I, I, these like layered eggs, I stopped before I even became a vegetarian because I broke one egg at school. Mm -hmm. Like it was stinking chemicals. Mm. Then I started um, eating just free range eggs from there. Then, you know, I started doing some research and seeing what is really happening, the way food is produced. It's not very healthy. You know, and I came up to start solving the problem by um, promoting healthy growing of food, mm -hmm. um, help from healthy layering of um, eggs and also chickens. Mm -hmm. And uh, very soon I'm moving into livestock. But right now I'm just into the issue of uh, making sure that, you know, you, you, I don't just want to identify a problem. Mm -hmm. I want to be part of the problem Solution. solvers. Yes. Ah. So that is that is actually it's whereby you know what is happening like on a practical level. Yeah. Because you know I grew up from the farm and I remember very well and I've seen it even a few weeks ago whereby an animal is sick, mm -hmm. then they kill it and take it to the butcher. Oh, and they sell it? They sell it because you know you, well, once it is on the plate you can't know how <laughs> what really happened behind mm -hmm. the scene. And I've seen instances whereby, you know, people spray chemicals to ripen the tomatoes. They sell, um, you, like, let, let me give you a, a very realistic example. Let's say, for example, I grow rape with chemicals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I spray it today and the chemical has to expire after maybe seven days. Then the price for, for rape goes high. People harvest their rape and sell it. Like, there is that moral degradation that has ah. happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... That is one of the reasons why I chose to be, I'm mm -hmm. actually not just vegan, but I, I love to eat what I grow because I'm pretty sure that what I'm eating is good and I'm promoting that and helping other people grow mm -hmm. food like, like what you're doing, like you see having at least a small backyard garden, yeah. that mm -hmm. is quite healthy because I understand when people are healthy, they think clear, they have happy families, mm. they will, they will, like we can, we can actually build an economy when we've got sound minds and health is very critical. I am yeah. so excited to hear that and also because today the spinach is the one we grew when we first yeah. started. Yeah. So <laughs> I hope you're going to enjoy this meal. It's made with love and thank you so much for all the work that you're doing with us. Oh, yeah. uh, very really soon. Helped us out quite a bit together. Yes, he has. And very soon we are going to be organizing a visitation to the Wood Kitchen Garden. I think in the next few months, mm -hmm. once the garden is thriving, because it's a collaboration between the radical farmer and mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, so for now, guys, we're going to dig in and then go back into the garden to continue planting. With exactly. love from... Wood Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you, you'll be happy to know that whenever I'm coming here, I don't even eat breakfast at home. Because you know. <laughs> You know there's going to be breakfast. <laughs> Till yeah. next time, guys. Bye. See ya. Stuck in. <laughs>